what's up? Here with another product review from China. Uh, this one is, this is all that it came with. So I opened up the package and it literally was just this stuff right here. So this is a remote control. Looks like it has the battery in it because it has one of those plastic pull tabs on it. Focus on that at all, but there's a little plastic pool tab, so I'm guessing the battery's in it. And then this is the cigarette lighter adapter, and this is the infrared remote control receiver. And these are the LED sticks. It looks like there is nine LEDs on a stick and there are four sticks and it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of rope there um, also I don't know what that box is must be more IR receiver stuff and there's a little plug right here uh, I'm not sure exactly what that's for so I'm gonna go ahead and dig into this thing I'm gonna take it down to the car and see what we can do here the idea is that whenever I'm at night and I have passengers in my car the light is low and since I've been driving Lyft I've had a lot of people that have lost and found things in my car and my idea is if I can put these sticks in the car somewhere to go ahead and increase the amount of light so I guess the idea is I'm going to run it underneath the carpet and I'm really hoping to not have to put it uh, into the cigarette lighter. I was hoping to splice this directly into the fuse box so that whenever I turn my dome light on, they would come on. Uh, but these LEDs do have colors on them. I don't know how well I can get the focus on this remote control. There you go. Uh, but it's got red, white, green, blue, yellow. It's like eight colors at least. And it has the ability to dance to the music and stuff. So highly illegal to have them on while driving, at least here in Pennsylvania. I don't know what the idea is in other states. But certainly, again, my idea here is for when passengers are loading and unloading. So I would like to eliminate this little box here. Um, Oh, I see where that plug goes right there. Gotcha. All right, so we're going to go take it downstairs and see what we can find out. Okay, so we're down at the van here, and I have unpacked the cord. This is the power cord. And so this goes into the cigarette lighter. Uh, again, I sure would like to come take this apart and change it over so that I can just do DC direct in. It says the input voltage is 12 volt and the current is 3 by, this output current is 3 by 2 amps. I'm hoping that just by wiring this barrel connector directly into here, we can go ahead and eliminate having this plug and then that way I can make this cord as long as I want run it up to the fuse box. So we'll see if that works out. And then I have... The front, looks like these are for the front, are maybe four foot cords. And then the ones for the back are probably six foot cords. So let's go ahead and get this plugged in and see exactly what we're looking at. Now this van is equipped with a constant power on one of the cigarette lighters. Um, so what we have with the constant power right now is I have my Bluetooth adapter. So it would be possible to just use the, I have a splitter for this. So it would be possible to just use that and go with that as a, an option. But I guess the idea would be, I would rather use the fuse box option. But if you, you know, are using this with your Bluetooth adapter or whatever, then we can you know just use a splitter. They're like five bucks. But um, I have the remote here. They turned right on as soon as I plugged them in. So I just hit the off button. It's working. I'm going to go ahead and kill the overhead lights so we can see what kind of brightness we get out of them. All right. So the dome light is on in the van. I guess the best way to do it would be to hang these out the door so we can see exactly what we're dealing with. So. 
I guess we'll just go with like a red. And I'm not getting any color at all. So turn them on first. And it looks like they just flash at you. And now let's see if we can't just go red color. Okay, there you go. And it's just solid red. Uh, now you do have option music. One. Looks like every time I hit the window, it's going to jump to the music, which is cool. That's what my up lights do. So that's exciting. Music two. Pretty much the same thing. I didn't see anything different there. Music three is... I don't know what's going on with that. We'll have to actually put some music on. Now I jump. So this is jump. It just stays on a constant flash. Then we have jump seven. I'm not noticing any difference there. Fade, which is gonna give us a slow fade, I'm guessing. Let's see what happens on this. Oh yeah, there it is. And then fade seven. But um, we can just do classic white, blue, green, Yellow, cyan, and purple. But actually, I just thought of something that would be really good for this. Is let's go ahead and uh, let's get in the car and see what kind of level. Because we got too much light going on here. And so again, I haven't taken the time to run the wires or anything, but I'll just take the two back seat ones stick them here at people's feet approximately where they would go and see how much lighting it actually provides for the car. And so remember the idea here for me is just make it so that people lost and found is less. So if you're sitting in the back back here Oh, and this light actually fell into the well the van. So you can see it's a pretty decent amount of light being thrown off there. And I am not actually able to see my IR receiver anymore. So we're going to have to push that into view. Oh, there we go. Alright, now as you can see, there is a little bit of light coming from an outside source main windows in the garage but turning the lights on to purple is pretty bright reds not giving us a whole lot of throw greens pretty bright blue plain white is obviously your brightest so those are the colors there um, this would be your music So it looks like that works pretty well too. So overall, it's a pretty decent product. It throws a pretty good amount of light. I mean, the other idea that I had was to mount them to the ceiling. And so obviously having these mounted to the ceiling would be an enormous amount of light back here. You can see how bright that is. Um, so maybe that would be the best way to do it, but that would be requiring putting you know, some spots in the headliner. Of course, I might be able to run it up this A pillar be a good spot just to have it right there so people can get in and out um, I you know like I said it's just one of those things where this was 20 bucks online so I figured I'd check it out and give you a little review on it so that's all I got for you today